What is up, Truths and Bites Alliance? Um, this is really, I'm going to take this out. This sounds really weird. So today we're going to be reacting to another horror movie. It is Saw 8. I think it's called Legacy, from what it's showing, like, right there. And, um, so... Hey, everybody, it's Blade here. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. Blade's here as well, so... He's not made a video. This is going to be uploaded to his channel as well, so... Hopefully. Yeah. back with a different video. Bah! Okay, you made me jump. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do a try not to get scared challenge. You, you me. <laughs> okay. Or this video is pop ups. Dude, my eyes are doing Right. So make sure your device is on its highest level of brightness. No, if you're we're fine. We have a light in on. There. On its highest level of brightness. If you're watching this on a phone, wear really loud <laughs> earphones set to highest volume. We're not doing that because this thing is pretty, pretty loud. If you're watching on a TV set, set the volume to 100. Oh my gosh, no. This challenge video is made by me. <laughs> Music. I'm waiting for those trailers to come out. Michael Myers and Jason's. Level one. Oh look, it's really nice <laughs> and pretty. And there's probably gonna be like a girl that comes up and stares at us. At the end of the butterfly. No. Oh, the butterfly's gonna come up and it's gonna scare. I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> that means. I don't like the monkey just staring. Okay. I jumped. I laughed. I laughed. I jumped, but I didn't get scared. Alright, we're back. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh through these. Cause I'm me. 
No, it's funny. Oh, I don't like the little girl. <laughs> I, I don't get scared that easy. I laugh too much. I don't like little girls. I don't like little I girls. I know one we should watch. <laughs> I didn't get scared. I laughed because of you. <laughs> it's gonna happen again. No. Okay. At the end, it's gonna no. be luck. <laughs> At the end, it's gonna be I don't like this. It's the same thing. I don't like this. <laughs> it's gonna be like I'm lucky this time, though. What the heck is moving back there? What the heck is moving back there? <laughs> that is a face. I don't like this. Oh, I see it. It's face. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's so funny. I laugh at me. You like. <sighs> at the end, it's gonna be like. How many sticky levels are there? No, at the end, it's gonna be like. Good luck. I don't like this one. It's gonna show something else. I'm just gonna turn it into something bad. I don't like it. Yeah, until you stink and get an ear stinking spoonful. <laughs> yeah, it's like stinking static. Why does it sound like a woman? I gotta go to another video. Because I hate this one. This one's stupid. Okay. I hate it! Wow. Wait. Good world. Wow, you fell for that. And congrats. If you made it here, good luck. I haven't really got scared, have I? I've laughed, though. <laughs> you jumped. <laughs> I'll be back. Hey, hey everybody. Hey everybody. Okay. We're back. We're doing five of these videos. No, we're not. My next top yeah, five. Yeah, we're next video. The top five real found footage videos. The Redwood City Arsonist. <laughs> In 1987, in Redwood City, California, there was a devastating crime wave of home and property arsons. Despite an extensive investigation, the police detectives and fire marshals on the case could never find any evidence, not a single clue or witness. The case was closed due to lack of evidence. Two years later, a farm worker found a strange videotape in a field outside of town. Upon reviewing the tape, authorities were shocked to find that it was an actual video recorded by the Redwood City arsonist. In the video, he records two houses that he has just set on fire. As the houses burn, he eerily gloats <coughs> about the arson. Investigators released this found video to local television stations, asking the public for any help identifying the homes or the voice on the tape. The release of the tape led to the capture and arrest of two teenage boys who had set all of the Redwood City fires. When the boys were arrested, investigators were shocked to find even more tapes. The arsonists had recorded themselves in crude makeup, dressed as vampires, werewolves, and other monsters. The teens had also recorded video of newspaper headlines of over 60 other arsons that they had committed. One of the teens was sentenced to serve time in juvenile hall, and the other, who was heard on the tape, was committed to a state mental hospital for treatment. The Bjork Stalker In 1996, Ricardo Lopez, a mentally deranged fan of alternative rock singer Bjork, began plotting an attempt to kill the performer. He chronicled every step of his eight-month plan on videotape. Lopez intended to mail Bjork a letter bomb containing sulfuric acid in hopes to kill or disfigure the singer. Then he planned to kill himself with a gun purchased at a local gun shop. On September 12, 1996, after eight months of planning, Ricardo Lopez mailed his sulfuric acid letter bomb to Bjork at a nearby postal box. Then he returned home to his small apartment where he shaved his head and painted his face. He then glued photos of Bjork to his apartment wall. In black paint he wrote on the wall, quote, the 8mm tapes are a documentation of a crime. They are for the FBI. He then drew an arrow pointing to the stack of 8mm videotapes that he had recorded over the last 8 months. Ricardo Lopez then sat with a gun listening to Bjork songs on his home stereo. He then shot himself after the last note of the song, I Remember You, played on the stereo. Obviously, I won't be showing his actual suicide. 
These were Ricardo 